Panchadashi, one of the most uh, famous book amongst higher seekers, and aims at <clears throat> it is only the knowledge and the understanding. I think I uh, you still have in mind what exactly is understanding that understanding is clarity and the clarity means that you filter out what is not knowledge you filter out the rest of the home except yours see that we if i haven't want to go to the kitchen i filter out everything except the kitchen do you see that? So we have to apply the same understanding, clarity, and the knowledge. So this master who has written the text, it says knowledge alone can liberate us. Before I go further, you start applying that knowledge in your personal, professional, social life. It's very important. Otherwise, what will happen? Mind in the background will go with the likes and dislikes. One day we'll say, I don't like this beer guy. You will leave this and you will leave the entire journey. I have no problem. <laughs> so apply that knowledge and understanding in your personal, professional, social, family life, in relationship with reference to the money, with reference to your body, mind, intellect, and ego. If you don't apply, oh, nothing is happening. Obviously, nothing will happen. So having said that, understand uh, that when I understand that the real self is of the nature of peace and happiness, why my mind is running outside? Why? Why my mind is running, why my mind is wandering, only because of likes and dislikes. And why there is a likes and dislikes? Because what I like will give me a peace and happiness, but peace and happiness is inside. Including, you know, don't tell anyone, including your honey, including your soulmate. Peace and happiness are not there. I tell you, you know, uh, remember this. But it does not mean that you go and declare to your honey that, okay, peace and happiness is not with you, hence I'm leaving you. That is not a problem. That is a big problem. We are working on our life. Did you understand? So simple thing that when the knowledge is settled without doubt that I am the peace and happiness, then why my mind is running outside, why my mind is wandering outside. So start thinking, speaking, and living with these principles. It is very important. Otherwise, you say, oh, nothing is happening to me. So hence, let me leave it. So that leaving has some likes and dislikes. And that likes and dislikes means simple. Liking simply means that I like something outside that will give me peace and happiness. So what happened to the intellect? The intellect is not free from the doubt. Intellect has a doubt that the peace and happiness are outside, hence the mind will start wandering. 
We all are seekers. We have been attending this session for so long. So my mind should become aware of this fact. Otherwise, one day, your mind will say, hell with this beer guy. I'm not happy. So let me search happiness outside. So you fall back into the same thing. No, 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 I, I can't believe. But you did not do the practice. You did not follow. Peace and happiness, when I say, are self-evident. I believe you understand. Peace and happiness are self-evident. It is our essential nature. So whether you say self-evident or essential nature means what? Something inside me is the source of peace and happiness. You forget it, the mind will start wandering. You don't forget it, the mind is not going anywhere. <laughs> Do you see? That is the beauty. So when another meaning of the self-evident, it is independent. Self-evident is also means independent source of happiness. We don't need a candle to see the sun. Sun, self-evident. It has a light. In the light of the sun, you see the sun. In the light of the real self, you discover peace and happiness. Yeah? Did you, did you get it? In the light of the real self, you discover that I am of the nature of peace and happiness. Now, the way, in the light of the sun, you see the sun. You don't need a candle. In a dark room, you want to see any object or anything. To perceive an object, eyes depends on the light. So you switch on the light and then you can find what are the objects and the people are sitting in the dark room. But to know myself, I don't need light. Are you getting You don't need light. I know. I am. I know I am in the dark room. So I've been requesting you that apply these principles in your daily life. With your honey, with other, with relations, at the personal, professional, and social life. So in order to discover that self-evident, real self, I have to apply discernment and discretion. Without discernment and discretion, it is not possible. Animals cannot apply. They cannot reach to that level. So animals have a sense of emotional dependence in their mind. Their intellect is imprisoned, directed, and that will not, that is why they are not able to find their real self. We have been understanding that real self is existence, consciousness, bliss, ECB or Satchidanan. We also understood that we love ourselves unconditionally. Tell me if you love anyone unconditionally outside. We talk a lot, you know, it's unconditional love. But deeper inside the mind creates some triggers. Now everything is okay, honey, but this, I don't agree with you. So it is not unconditional. Did you get it? <laughs> Did you get it? Only we love ourselves that is unconditional. No, no, you don't understand, you know, I love my honey unconditionally, okay? And if your honey starts hating you, will you continue to love unconditionally? Honey, say, get up. Will you love unconditionally? And your teeth hurts your tongue, you love unconditionally. You don't say, oh, let me take the teeth out, you know, this is so much crazy. You don't, your right hand doesn't fight with the left hand. 
<laughs> Unconditional. Huh? You see, the, under we, we need an understanding. So in order to have that understanding, this discernment and this passion is required. We are going a little deeper. So I'm laying a foundation. Uh, we'll come to a point and then we will ask ourselves. So discernment and discretion daily, regularly with commitment makes me a seeker. Discernment and discretion aims to uncover what mind has been thinking about life, about likes and dislikes, it challenges pain and pleasure. You get rid of that. Discernment and discretion takes over entire life. At every moment in your personal, professional, social life, apply that. So once we apply that first discernment, we discover that the entire universe has only two things. One is the knower, another is the known. Known, I know all of you, I know the computer, I know the world. So that is the category of the known, and the knower is one. Do you see that? Now, you cannot say David, one knower knows Brandy, David, two knower knows me, David, three knower no, Stephen. No, it is only one. Do you see that? No, it is one. Known are many. Mind gets caught in the known, creates likes and dislikes, emotional dependence, attachment, detachment, problem, pain, suffering begins. And the mind continues the journey of wandering, distraction. It never reaches to the real self. So the master says, master says, apply these principles in your thought, in your speech, in your action. So start with an action. Action means the attitude inside is right, proper. Action outside should be right and proper. You get rid of the delusion of the mind. Why I started this topic? Because I'm laying a foundation for the other verses explained, written by this master. If I do not apply discernment and dispassion in action, in my personal, professional, social life, the ignorance will continue. You may claim, I know, I have read, I have studied. There will be a big gap between what we say ideal in the practice, knowledge in the experience. So many people leave this journey. Nothing is happening because of their own mistake. Are you getting it? That is why I'm requesting, apply that anywhere, everywhere. So that is the, what is going to happen by putting these principles into action? It purifies the mind. By action, you purify the mind? Yes. So what is going to happen? This mind continues, undergoes a purification and yet it reaches to a point, mind says there is only one knower. Who is that knower? Let me go deeper. So it stops wandering. It drops distraction. Now think of this, when it drops distraction and wandering, will there be a fear? Will there be likes and dislikes? Will there be emotional dependence? Will there be attachment and detachment? Are you getting it? So once we follow these two steps, 
in our action, thought, in the speech, in our daily life. Then the three steps comes. I do not know, let me know it. I do not understand, let me understand it. I do not huh? experience, let me practice it. So the master says, once that level of the mind is clear, which is doing an action outside, with a right and proper attitude, based on the discernment and discretion. Now I can use those words so you all know it. We always give an example, so let us take the same example. Is clay pot is present in the clay or it is not present in the clay. I'm not asking a very tough question. Is, does clay pot present in the clay or not? Go a little uh, slowly, does pot maker has a clay pot in the clay? He perceives that. Are you getting it? Pot maker, clay, and clay pot. There are three things. So the pot maker conceives that pot in the clay and then starts working and creates a pot. Right? Uh, similarly, there is a real self, material world, and the human being. The material is already present outside that real self. You can say the supreme self conceives conceives with the material present and we are here. Oh, there are some contribution by our parents also. But the ultimate contribution is the conception by the existence. The existence conceived, that's why tiger is a tiger, I am, I am, Brandy is Brandy, Stephen is Stephen. Pot maker conceives the pot in the clay, works and then creates a clay pot. We are not going anywhere into the release, and but we are trying to understand. So think of this, and then we will go lead. We go back to that. Okay, what is this ignorance? I understand what is real self, I understand it is independent, I understand it is of the nature of peace and happiness, and still I don't experience. I get some idea, but still I have to experience that. So that experience is absent because of ignorance. Even after understanding, I still live in the same state of not knowing. Am I clear? And that ignorance hijacks my thought, speech, and action. So we can answer that question that why it happens even after understanding. We say that there is a lack of discernment and dispassion. So we can go back and forth. But that does not solve our problem. We live in ignorance, but we do not want to accept is the major cause of our suffering. 
So now from here, we are entering into a new concept. That you have to think. We say ignorance is prakriti. Prakriti is literally translated as nature. English translation. But it is much more than that. So ignorance is prakriti, is creation, root cause, root cause, I'm again repeating, root cause of my thought, speech and action is ignorance. Let us go a little deeper. And that ignorance is known as Prakriti. Prakriti has three qualities, knowledge, activity, and inertia. We cannot know them directly, but we can know its effect. They are known as the three gunas. Let me make us, uh, let us understand in a different way. There is a consciousness and there is a consciousness force. There is a Stephen and then there is a force, means the different activities carried out by the Stephen. These are the two things, consciousness and the consciousness force. Electricity and the force of the electricity can run the fan, light, millions of gadgets. Pure consciousness is the real self. Force of the real self. Force of the real self brings an effect. And that effect is of threefold. One effect is knowledge. The other effect is activity. Third effect is inertia. No worries if you will not understand, but if you contemplate again and again, it's better you do not understand so that your mind is inspired. Let me put it again. Let me understand this. So we say, I told you, consciousness, consciousness force, real self, force of the real self, that is what the prakriti that causes the ignorance. And that ignorance contains the three qualities. What are the three qualities? One is of knowledge, the other is activity, third is inertia. So when these three qualities are in equilibrium, you are at the highest level of discernment and dispassion. You perceive, you experience, you are with the real self all the time. I have to, I have to move further. That's why I'm starting, you know, uh, the verse 14, I'm laying a foundation for the verse 40. So once we clearly understand, it high, and I told you that these qualities can be recognized by an effect, not by its cause. We know these three qualities by its effects. When the three qualities are in equilibrium, you are at the highest level of discernment and dispassion. You recognize the real self. You think and speak and act out of the real self. Knowledge, activity, and rest. I will pick up again. <laughs> I know a smartphone example. Then mine says I like it. 
So I like it, then there is a desire. So I have a knowledge of the smartphone. I have a knowledge of the desire for the smartphone. Right? So when I have a desire, I have to fulfill that desire. To fulfill that desire, I have to take an action. So activity has come. Now, I grab, I possess the phone, I move into inertia with reference to that desire. My mind is clear. Are you clear? We have to go deeper. How long we will continue, sir? Knowledge, activity, and inertia. Now ask yourself, did anything happen to your inner self by the knowledge, activity, and inertia? Nothing happens. You grabbed your phone. You had a desire. The desire is an hesitated mind, and you grabbed it, and you did an activity. I give a simple example, you know. You can apply that example to the sexual pleasure, to the food and to the clothes and to your relationship. Don't you remain the same before the knowledge, desire, activity and inertia and after it? Do you become different? You don't become different. Okay, you don't become different. So master says that this knowledge, activity, and the inertia is exactly only a reflection in the real self. The way this body is reflected in the mirror for some time, and after that, Mirror loses that image. Same way, this knowledge, activity, rest is reflected in the real self. What is reflected in the real self is not real. And we claim it is real. That is the greatest ignorance. I will be happy. I have a million dollars. <laughs> But if you look deeper inside, that happiness is different. Inner happiness is different from that million dollar, that sexual pleasure, that activity. That knowledge, that desire. And it is only a reflection on the real self. You go with it, you know, what we say. Here also we say three-piece suit. And now we have four, five pieces. But normally we have three, and you look into the mirror. As long as you look into the mirror, you get a pleasure, you leave it. It's only a reflection. Whatever we do, activity, whatever kind of a rest or inertia that we move it into deep sleep, we remain the same person again and again. Waking, sleeping, and the dream state continues every day for weeks, months, and years, but that real self remains the same. So this waking dream and the sleep is nothing but a reflection on the real self. Are you getting it? That's why it is being repeated. <laughs> so how it is being reflected by these three qualities? Knowledge, which is known as Satoguna. Activity, it is known as Rajoguna. <laughs> Inertia, it is known as Tamoguna.
So that prakriti which is made up of the three gunas are reflected in the real self. Electricity is reflected in the light, in the fan, in the smartphone. I cannot see the electricity directly. Even if you touch, you cannot see the electricity directly. But don't touch it. So we will uh, start with our non-practice, but before that, I'm giving you the three words you have to think, and then we will contemplate and reflect. That's the beauty of this journey. The real self plus satoguna. Satoguna means knowledge is part of the nature. The real self plus the knowledge is part of the prakriti or the nature is equal to Ishwar. Ishwar means God. We are not going into the release. We have a mathematical equation. The real self plus Satoguna means the knowledge part is Ishwar. Now I feel myself as an individual, right? I feel myself as an individual. This individual is separate from you and separate from the rest of the world. How that is formed? How that level of awareness is there? Real self plus Rajoguna. Real self plus activity is known as individual consciousness. And the real self plus inertia is known as the world outside. We say the world is matter. What a beautiful way. So you have to think of, contemplate and reflect. Real self, uh, yes, I understand, ECB. Plus, Satoguna, knowledge, God. Real self plus activity. All kinds of activity. We perform all kinds of activity. That's why I recognize that I am here. Are you not listening to me? Listening is an activity. You are individual consciousness. I like my honey. So as you are one individual, the other with second one. You like individual consciousness. So what happened over the real self? Activity is being reflected, and I say, how can I you say that real self is one only present everywhere? That is the ignorance we are suffering from. <laughs> Repeating again, real self plus knowledge part, God. Real self plus activity part, individual consciousness. Real self plus inertia part is the material world. The world outside that I perceive. What is common? Real self. I look good, mirror reflecting. I look bad, mirror reflecting. Real self is pure consciousness. Plus knowledge. Real self plus activity. I feel that I'm an individual consciousness. That feeling, that effect that I am separate from you comes because the real self is engaged, is reflecting the activity. And the, when the real self is reflecting the inertia, so in this verse, he solves the problem that why we have that ignorance of remaining as an individual, but do not experience myself as a real self is the greater ignorance. 
you will take up, think of this. So close your eyes. Close your eyes. Body is steady and 